Oh. Hello. It is you again. Come for more questions. Hmm, how it felt? You mean... Turning? Well, the first thing that I can recall is a heat. Intense. Hot. Painful. My memory is murky, and at times I feel I am drowning. Drowning in muddy water. Was I ever mortal? I do not know. But I feel I must have been. I remember the taste of the night air. Moist. And feeling... Sweetly fragrant. That was the night I embraced her. But I digress. You have sought me out, so I may tell you what a vampire is, and who we are, that you want this willingly. I can only relay what the blood chooses to reveal, so please forgive me if my words are a bit, say, confusing. Sit, please, I insist. I won't bite. I have already eaten. Now, clear your mind. Cling to whatever thing brings you joy. But what I'm about to tell you will most likely horrify. It began with a young girl. Her beauty was modest, and her soul was pure. No darkness to speak of. It had not touched her heart. She basked in the glow of her god of light, Arche. Such is the ignorance of youth. Nern was in its prime, barely newborn, when the prince of schemes walked upon it, shrouded and hungry. Molag Mal ravaged the girl. She had barely any time to breathe. Her screams filled the ebony air, so much so that it is said they echo to this day, battered, broken, and dominated through and through. The priestess was barely alive. The prince vanished. Soon thereafter, she was discovered by passing nomads, who, in their kindness, took the poor creature back to their village. This would be their undoing completely. After days of tending to the girl, they were met with another worldly thing. She fed upon them in a monstrous fashion, as if they were a fine banquet. Hmm, sounds like a good time if you ask me. <laughs> the sad part is, uh, well, her so-called god, Arche, left her in silence. She was utterly forsaken and utterly alone. She swore damnation upon his name, and so began the spread of her bloody reign. Arche, do you hear me? You are false! The first of our kind, La May Bielfog, daughter of Cold Harbor, the Blood Matron. Now that I have told you, tell me, mortal, still interested, still willing to walk the night, undead, unfeeling, never to gaze upon the sun again, forsaking all that you have come to know and be. If so, take my hand. The mother awaits. <laughs>